All right. Hello. Hello. This is episode two. Numero uh, dos. It's Cameron here. It's James. Lil Camo. Jimmy Too Nice. What up? How's it going? Episode two. Yeah. We're doing it. Yeah. This is We're real. back. Yeah. Sunday. Uploading Monday again. I kind of like that. That That's nice. Because we upload later. I mean, we record later on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So by the time everything gets set, it's late. Yeah. And I start your week off. Yeah. So we'll do like... I want to try to do like midday tomorrow on Monday, technically today. Um, but yeah, that's what's up. That's All right, up. I'm gonna. You want ready for me to read the uh, <laughs> the fortune from the fortune cookie from Panda yes. Express? We just recently shared a Panda Express fortune cookie, as good friends do. You know, as you do. If you don't share a fortune cookie with your friend, that's your fate. I encourage you to share a fortune cookie with a friend. This week, or <laughs> in your life, yeah. at least, it's a wonderful experience, and it definitely brings you closer. That's our mission for you, right? The listeners to share a fortune. Cookie if you share a fortune cookie, please send us a message or even a picture. That'd be better. <laughs> Hashtag young men. Hashtag young know. men. Hashtag it young men. Okay, you ready? Yes. I'm it ready. says there's nothing on the back, so here. Okay. A thrilling time lies ahead. I'm. What? <laughs> How did they know? No way, dude. Is that like? A that's fortune for this evening. That's like a what's legit happening right now. This sh- whole podcast. We can make that for we can cash that fortune in like the money in the bank God, thing we're right now. Cashing in right this second. All right, Panda Express. Panda Express. <laughs> so I ate a piece of orange chicken, mm-hmm. and I said, "Holy <laughs> shit, that's insane!" <laughs> <laughs> and James said, <laughs> "I don't even remember like it's how like you said white it." White people be like Panda Express insane. <laughs> white people be like Panda Express. Insane. Especially around here because we didn't have a Panda Express for a yeah. long time. Like we've just <laughs> recently, <laughs> recently been blessed with a Panda Wait, Express. We're just now starting to get things <laughs> that like bigger cities have had for like a decade. I heard we're getting a Popeyes pretty soon. Oh goodness! Did really? You hear about that? Yeah. I did not. Right next to just... the the local Target. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I'd be okay with that. I don't think I've ever had Popeyes, but I hear it's crispy and it's a little spicier than. Dude, I'd be killing someone for one of them chicken sandwiches. Straight up. Straight up. Commit murder. <laughs> First <laughs> murder for a cheeky Sammy. All right, so um, w- one thing I want to start out with. Yeah. Biggest news of the year, period. <laughs> eternal Take finally came out. I always thought it was Eternal Atake for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I pronounce That's it. That's the Panda Express version. Eternal Atake. <laughs> but yes, two years in the making. Yeah. Two years uh, in the I was just the thinking. Teasing wasn't he saying how he was retiring? Like, he didn't did, he say he was yeah. retiring Him and from Nav. Music? Yeah. Dude, brown boy got the bag. <laughs> I hate Nav more than really? anything. Dude, I, I like the Metro so Boomin and, and Nav, a perfect, the perfect timing, I think. I have not heard that. I like it. The only thing but... I've heard from Nav is uh, I like Beebs in the Trap. Okay. With On Travis's. Travis. Yeah. Um, the one song with Meek Mill, <laughs> Stanley. Stanley's song. starting off early. <laughs> He's already humping something second week in a row. <laughs> This guy never stops. Okay, so <laughs> take no days off, son. <laughs> the grind. The Hashtag grind young stops. men here. The grind for that nut, dude. <laughs> never ends. Uh, so I, the song with Meek Mill, I forget what it's called, but he's where Meek Mill says, uh, "Put her th- put my thumb all up in her a hole." Mm. Yeah, I think. Okay. My fiance hates that song because of that. <laughs> because part. of that. If she hears it, she immediately skips. I'm not it. a huge Meek Mill fan. No, I'm not either. Um, I just hate Nav. Really? And then there's a song on uh, Young Thug's new album, So Much Fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it obviously has Nav in it. And he's mm-hmm. like... <laughs> you think he ruins it? His verse. I mean, I've been singing it in my head all day. I really can't lie to you. Yeah. Um, but, like, it just makes me angry. Because <laughs> he's, he's got rack, rack, rackety sacks <laughs> oh, in yeah. my nap, 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 sack. Sacks? Dude, yeah. I hate that. Yeah. But it's so catchy, like... Okay, I hate Nav, but his voice mm-hmm. and like <laughs> that is so catchy. <laughs> yeah, like he like can't I can't help. It's like the part I hate about the Meek Mill song is like he did like the same thing as in the the Thugger song. Okay. So like the the nap 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 de sec like yeah. that's like uh. Nick nap nap de. Yeah. Give Nick a nap, dog a bone. Give a dog a bone. Give a dog <laughs> a band up. <laughs> 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 Whatever. But uh, yeah, so Eternal Take. I, the reason I got on Nav mm-hmm. is because he said he was uh, retiring with Lil Uzi. Oh. Yeah, like when Lil Uzi, that. what, like a year ago? Like a year I and a half ago? I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was. Some forever said he was but. retiring. 
and that made me cry. <laughs> and then I was like, this cannot. He's just messing with all of us. Right. He has to be. But Eternal Take, I hated it when it came out. Really? Like, I, yeah, I listened to the first time I listened through it. Um, I I was like, this is this is so butt. <laughs> I was like, oh, we waited two years for this. And we were Go like back into retirement. And leaks. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude, you should have just stayed on your word for that retirement. But, but mm-hmm. next day, um, you woke up with a new attitude. A new attitude. I, I love it. It's so good. I like it a lot. Do you? That's I like awesome. it a lot. I like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like it. And then, uh, Prices has that super hard sample of the Travis Scott song. Um, Oh, uh, the way back. Yeah, right? yeah. Because I, I think saw so. like on Twitter, like he like he's like, hey, thanks, Trav, for clearing that. Yeah, yeah. Prices, Prices is, is one of one. my favorite songs and on there. P two, I was really surprised by. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to. He's really getting as many dollars out of his, as he can from that song. <laughs> okay, except tour life. Yeah, yeah, but I was dude. like, I was not expecting it. So when I heard I it, I was I like, really. But it makes sense. I'm not that a huge P two fan. I've heard everybody that I've talked to loves P two. Mm-hmm. I just. I just, just don't can't. like it. Yeah. yeah. That way, though. Um, See, I haven't ne- memorized them by their names yet. But okay. Well, uh, that way is the one that uh, released. Oh as a yeah, single. we talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. With, like, the, I uh, love that one. I played that song the whole that day. Yeah. After we talked about it, I found it, and that was just on loop all yeah. day. Oh it's yeah. So catchy. It's I love it. So with the the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. I want it that way. Sample. Mm-hmm. It's. I I really I could play that every day. Yeah. Or um, I like. Uh, Celebration Station okay. and Venetian. The beat on Venetian is... Is it something else? It's crazy. Like, just playing that, like, if you just, like, blast it in your car. Yeah. Like, that shit is, like, I'm, like, Bumping. banging my head <laughs> and, like, pretending like I know the lyrics already and I'm just, like, screaming mumbles. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm lo- <laughs> yeah. So, like, I know what's going on. Right. But, yes, I'm... in. Uzi is very active on Twitter now. He's responding to like every fan that sends him a tweet or whatever. That's good. The deluxe version is gonna come out apparently Ooh. like this, like upcoming weeks, so, like yeah. a week. Like it re- released on Friday, and then the next Friday he's releasing the deluxe version. That would be exciting. apparently okay. Which is like eight more songs. Really? Yeah. Because he has the uh, futsal shuffle. Yeah, which I didn't. But he, it says bonus crazy. track. Yeah, and then it's well, got that way says bonus track too. Oh, does it? Yeah, they both say bonus track on it because okay. those both came out as singles. Yeah, which is make that uh, makes sense. Yeah, but um, I really like both of those. Yeah, I like. <laughs> I think the album. I really like those songs. I just said I did not like Pizza All Shuffle, <laughs> and I I really like both those songs, dude. I'm so stupid. Wow. I'm I'm that po- that podcast nervous right now. I don't know if you are. No, I'm not like, so much. I don't we know. took the picture. That was I was more nervous for the, the really? new thumbnail pic. <laughs> yeah. And then we got that out of the way. So I got my cup of water. <laughs> I'm, good yeah, to, I'm good to roll. Yeah, I got the big waters out here. Yep. Staying Last hydrated. podcast we were very the like before it even started I was like my mouth was so dry <laughs> and then my water full of ice was like right out of arm's reach so I could not grab it. I did not want to disturb all anything. that ice in there. Yeah. I was just dreaming about it the whole thing. I couldn't concentrate. I was like, oh. My hydro flask full of ice hydro water. Hydro flasks. Uh, I got one of those Powerade bottles now because I'm an athlete and I just spray it. Like the in my big Powerade bottles? Uh, I don't know. They're like blue. They're blue and black. <laughs> the <laughs> big like one? The... Uh, no, it's blue. Actually. It's blue. <laughs> yeah. That means it's small. It's blue. <laughs> well, I used to use a. Uh... It's like, you know, the Gatorade bottles that just. Sh- yeah, little green ones. You just squeeze them, mm-hmm. like on sidelines. Yeah. Yeah. I have a really big that. Powerade one that I used to use all the time. Like instead of my hydro flask, uh-huh. I would just. Suck water out of that all Dude, day. Remember the? Hey, do you ever drink the Gatorades that had like the that twisty, yes, like, nipple thing? The nipple, the twisty nipple. <laughs> twisty yes. nipple. Have you seen the picture where they put it like on the on the chocolate milk two liter? <laughs> 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 that's such a good picture. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Kind of. That's our test. Okay. We'll be figuring that out. All right. Oh, well, it fits perfectly. I feel like it doesn't very like research twist on and very development. Much, so it's like as soon as you like put it up to drink it the chocolate milk just pours pour on, on you yeah it almost that'd might be, be better too, yeah that'd be, kind of, that'd be awesome you know, actually no, i'm thinking about just it. as good of an just experience the cab, I'm just gonna pour it on me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds dope just taking chocolate milk baths <laughs> chocolate milk baths for the win i'll take a chocolate milk bath any day this week this week this week this any day this week, week. Yeah. not next week not it has to be no. this week it has to be none days possible. next week asap do you ever do like an oatmeal bath or no I've never have either, but I know people do. I didn't know. I feel like thing. people 
I feel like that's something that older people used to do <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> if you have sunburn or something. Baths. Uh, yeah, uh, probably. Maybe. I think that sounds right. I like don't a, know. take an oatmeal bath and fuck it. Just cure my sunburn. <laughs> Just bathe in some oats. <laughs> it looks like some steel cut Quaker <laughs> oats. Yeah. Or is that like milk? Do I? Or is that milk? That they're like bathing a, in? Like regular milk, not chocolate milk. <laughs> you can do chocolate milk probably, <laughs> sure. but like regular milk. I don't know. I feel like I've seen something on that too. Huh. I know this is a thing like, uh, I don't, isn't it <laughs> like if you get like sprayed with a skunk? Like oh, yeah, you, you're supposed to take... Like, you bathe in, like, like tomato... Tomato soup? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. That'd be That's, crazy. I don't know how that feel. I would just get a... Like, I feel weird. Jump in a vat. I feel dirty. A vat thing. of tomato <laughs> soup. <laughs> you feel dirty in tomato soup, you're like, I feel less dirty stinking like a skunk right now. <laughs> I probably would feel less <laughs> dirty. <laughs> but I also feel like I'd come out looking red. <laughs> from it stained my me. My body. <laughs> yeah, I'm so white. I'm like a canvas. <laughs> yeah. This is painting me. Just paint, paint me with the that tomato soup. Did you see the video on Twitter that went viral um, of the girl bathing in hot Cheetos? No. She had like a bath. I've been off Twitter for like half of a year. Really? Yeah. I only check trending, and maybe that's my problem. I just recently re-downloaded it and started tweeting. I saw some classic, again. some classic camo t- tweets teets. today, <laughs> or like recently. Or are you talking about uh, like? The, the Classic as in like you tweeted them like today, oh, but it's like, like stylized. Stylized as like a usual <laughs> camera tweet, like, yeah. That's like, just, I don't know. I missed it. I really enjoy just like being the. Just sitting there and like thinking of like the dumbest <laughs> shit possible in my head and being like, yeah, I should tweet Put that, that on the internet. Yeah, I should just tweet that. Yeah. Because that's just what happens. I'm just like laying there or I'm just like at work just mm-hmm. behind the service desk. Oh, yeah. And I'm just standing there like if it's not busy, I'm just, I'll think of something so outlandish. And right. I'm like, I'm like that sounds kind of like I'll make myself laugh, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say post that. that. Yeah. They're, uh, I said something about piranhas being the machine gun of the ocean one time, <laughs> yeah. and so ever since then, Emily and I will say we'll say something, and we'll be like, "That's a tweet." That's a tweet right there. Something stupid piranhas like piranhas the machine guns. How come your hands you see, don't like Aquaman have... with like like brah, like an AK with a piranha? I'm a piranha. Like, I'm a guy. <laughs> I live in the. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> it just the piranha says that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what he's. That's what Aquaman what can they, hear. Yeah. Because he, he, he can, can talk speak to the fish. fish. He's like, this piranha is kind of stupid, right? <laughs> She's why like this school. <laughs> Where do you go to school at? Are you in high school? <laughs> Which is kind of a pun, because fish swim in schools. <laughs> <laughs> do piranhas swim in schools? I almost said. I pools. don't know. <laughs> do they swim in pools? They, they if they you put them in them. Yeah. I'll put a piranha in my pool. That'd be the hardest thing. Get in my hot tub. It's just a piranha. <laughs> it's like three piranhas. Three piranhas. Right? Shit, it's part of the experience, part of the massage. To like eat your dead skin and your alive skin. <laughs> <laughs> and your, all your skin. Like all your, your skin. Your organs and God. everything. I d- Speaking Ar- of, this is kind of a good segue actually. Uh, I have on my little A Very Good Podcast notes. Yeah. Uh, just the last one, the most recent one. It's kind of been on my mind a lot. It says how nature is relentless, which is like... Okay. Wow. Let's yeah. Go. But <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's talk about. This. Let's talk about this for a second. I recently discovered the Nature Is Metal Instagram account. Yes. I think. I think. And I've it's seen. basically just graphic images of animals yeah, eating it's each being other. Crazy. Yeah. And it's got me. It made me think about how far removed we are from. Yeah. Survival of oh, that yeah. kind. That it's not, like it's so weird for us to have like. We don't like we won't we don't see a cheetah just walk around Indiana. Yeah. Like we don't, especially like living where we live because I feel yeah. like, I mean I guess anywhere like city wise. Right. Like, oh, I meant like people in general. Like. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Like but evolution. Like, like we had to. People have to like used to fight for like. There's just these animals eating their babies, and it's right. like for us, it's like holy crap, you do that, but then it's like, oh yeah. They oh, have like they yeah. have to if they want to live. Like there's right. no rules. It's survival. It's straight that's up. That's the only is. rule. There's zero morals in the animal kingdom. Survive. Survive. That's, that's their only that's objective. It. Yeah. And they don't care. Do well, it just blows. My, it just like I was like, oh my gosh. Like yeah. we don't even like what do we have to worry about? Like we worry about like taxes. Taxes. I was just <laughs> thinking taxes because <laughs> yeah. it's taxes. Coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus <laughs> and taxes right now. We have to worry about who the president is. Yeah. There's an, right? like there's things that give no like just. We worry about like how many retweets we get. 
Like that, that's crazy. Okay, that's more of what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, the amount of... Like, the tiny, tiny stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Like, like, is my phone charged? Is my Apple Watch charged? Is Does my car have gas right. in it? Like... The, the little is, my, is the Bluetooth from my phone and my car working? Yeah. It's messing up, and I'm just so pissed off that it's <laughs> messing up. It's like, no. I don't know. I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about, though. Yeah. Like, if it were, like, a... a well, a million years ago. Yeah, it's like I feel like I, I said, yeah, that number, yeah, yeah. Through that number, if they're if it was just a a million, million yeah. and a half, quarter yeah. mil years ago, like when the cave, they had to, <laughs> they did the same thing as like worry about survival. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't have that shit. They're just like survive. Well, even in like the early like eighteen hundreds, like if you had, it's like if you someone right. coughed in your community, oh, okay, they yeah. were dead. Yeah. If you catch a bullet in your hand, they're like, yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, sorry. Like, if you just, like, get a toe, like, you stub your you toe. You stub your toe, amputate like, it. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to so cut that off. Looking a little infected. And then you just die. Pour some moonshine on it and then just whack it off. <laughs> and then your surgeon just takes a swig of the moonshine, too, because they <laughs> yeah. didn't give it an F yep, back then. There you go. That's what I think is crazy. Like That's kind of cool, though. Well, I think we we don't appreciate. I think it, we can get very used to how things are and right. not appreciate how nice things are. Like, I'm reading this book. It's the zombie. It's the old like zombie survival guide. Yeah, because I got it when I was like twelve. Yeah. But I'm going through my library, which I'm is <laughs> my library is only twelve books. It literally is like twelve books. Like, but I, you know, might as well read it now. I mean, yeah, I've been coronavirus <laughs> is kind of on, on becoming. Yeah. That's yeah. probably some government hopes prepared. for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> no, but I'm like I'm gonna read. So I've read through two other books, and it doesn't matter if I'm interested or not. I'm gonna read it. Like right. I want to read a book a That's month. That's cool though. And so, uh. Just talking – he's talking about, like, uh, the book was talking about, like, if you're in different environments. Like, if you're out west, you're going to have a different set of environmental challenges than if you're in the Midwest because it's, like, you know, right. different different climate. And yeah. so he's talking about, like – he said something about how used to we are – like, we control our own environment, which is, like, how? But it's, like, if you think about your house – like you can set it to any temperature you want. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You can have it like the Amazonian forest if you wanted it to. <laughs> like the Sahara Desert. Right. Like it's like it doesn't matter. Mountain. Everest. Middle of winter. You can have yeah. it 80 degrees in here. Yeah. And you never know. Or if you want to just like turn that shit off, open the windows. You're like, mm-hmm. it's a blizzard in my house. Blizzard in my house. Yeah. Big deal. Just frozen. Grab that shit. BYOC. Bring your own coat. <laughs> <laughs> BYOC. But that's what I mean. Like BYOP. Bring like your own parka. It makes you. <laughs> Parker. Bring your own igloo. Bring your own Sherpa. Sherpa. But like my Sherpa line jacket. When people complain about little things, I think we uh I think it's pretty often that we forget how how like bad. How bad things we are for so other people. Right yeah. Well, yeah, we do kind but of But it's true old, though, it's but cool. it is like true. I mean I definitely think about that. I think it's cool to think about. Is like maybe not, not, oh, maybe, maybe not cool to think about, but like it's definitely like Oh no, it's I need to get this returned in thirty days. Oh, like shit. if that's your biggest yeah. worry, you're yeah, just chill doing, out for yeah, a second. You're doing fine. Which, I mean, I have no one to talk because I, I worry about Oh, yeah, everything. I forget about stuff that means nothing anyway. Yeah. yeah. Like, in my head, like, I've... Oh, yeah, I'm like, preaching to the choir here, <laughs> brother. Like, I definitely freak out about things. But I was really? just, I've just been thinking about that lately, how it's like you watch Animal Planet or, uh, I don't know, just some animal documentary. Yeah. And it shows, like, it shows a, occasional animal violence. Mm-hmm. And then other than that, it's like, ah... Oh, and then the the cub returned to his family. Like, oh, that's Aww. sweet. Yeah. And then here I am on Instagram. Like, this monkey literally just throws his cub off a cliff. And I'm Jesus. like, Jesus, this stuff you don't see. Yeah. So it's like you don't ever like it's hard to you don't ever think about it because it's, think about it's it. filtered for us. Yeah, that's that, okay. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. Like, filtering. That's yeah. what, another thing. Especially too, now, it, 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 it like kind of sets your perspective on it. Like, you oh, think yeah. you know what the animal kingdom's like. Cause, you have no idea. Yeah, I watch. Like, if you go to the like the. Like if you go the zoo, or the zoo <laughs> yeah, the zoo, and it's some just like depressed ass polar bear. Right. You're like, oh, that must be how they really are. They're just out sad. They're just sad creatures. But just like, with their head they're just down like low. savaging like penguins. Oh yeah. And just. And then on the the flip side of that is you have all these animals that have gotten their their arm cut off, and like I saw this alligator just they don't know what they're grabbing at, so they just snap, and they grabbed another alligator's arm, and they're react they're. Uh, reaction when they grab something is uh-huh. to twist right and roll yeah. and so he did it and he just snapped off like his the other alligator's his arms friends. his fr- yeah ah, see shit. that's us you his got friend. my arm son my friend how my friend's arm <laughs> you i got my arm but off. then that alligator just has to deal with it and yeah. so another thing i thought of was like sometimes you just have to deal with with shit in your life true that's such a cool way to put it yeah i love that it's like <laughs> i do that's so cool like the alligator 
metaphor. Alligator analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's but, just, like but he I just has to deal like, with that now. Yeah. He has to live his life now with an arm. Yeah, like, and his... it's like, okay, you have two options here. You can let that – obviously not the alligator because the alligator is going to – I can't speak for his safety at <laughs> yeah. this point. It's probably dead. Yeah. But when things happen to you in your life, you can either let it take you out and just weep and wallow and just go, okay, this is this is how things are now. I guess I'm just going to – yeah. guess I'm just going to be sad. boo and... Right. Poor or me. you can not man up because I'd be – that's a term that's very non gender neutral. Gender neutral. <laughs> yeah. You can uh you can human you up. You can be strong. You can <laughs> human up. Human up. Just yeah. human the F up. Just human the F up, guys. You can be strong. That's all you gotta do. If you're sad, human, human the up. frig up. Human up. Hashtag human it up. up. What's up guys? Just human it up here? They're like what? And I feel great. That's like the most alien thing you could say. <laughs> They're like, okay, yep. This guy is a robot. <laughs> this guy is a robot. Where's your charger, man? This is shit. <laughs> Slipping up. No, but you can either let it define you and be sad and feel right. pitiful for yourself, yeah. or you can be strong and human up and just. Which I'm learning how to do. Yeah. Recently. Really? I, oh my god, dude! Like everything that happened, to me, I'm like, oh, I'm like, of course it happened to me. Right. I like. I, I dropped. Would, it would be me like, that it happens. Exactly. To. Yeah. Dude, I. You, Used to like I used to have like really bad like anger issues. I still ha- kind of do now. Mm-hmm. That like if I would walk in my room and like I would actually like step on my shoe. Yeah. And like it would just like off put like my step or like make my foot feel weird. I Your would stride get, got messed up. I would get so <laughs> so pissed off. I'm like like why like why me like why did I have to step right why there? Why me? Did, yeah, God. Like, why? like why did my shoe have to be right there? I'm right. Like, and then recently I'm like, dog. It, doesn't really matter. It's just a shoe. It's just a shoe. It's like, yeah, yeah you'll get over it. it. Yeah. Takes one millisecond on your day that you actually stepped on the shoe, like, in the long, like, term. Like, that's a pretty good day if that's the only bad thing that happened <laughs> yeah, to you. Yeah, right? That's a pretty <laughs> awesome day if that's the only thing that happened to me. Like, I would consider that, like, a 10 out of 10 day. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's my gold okay, standard. Okay, like a 9.9. Okay, <laughs> that's a little better. Too, yeah, this is pretty good. But that day was perfect, except I stepped on my shoe. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, shit. But no, like, we had a uh, – they put ping pong tables up at the, uh, like, the commons at IUK now. Really? Yeah. That's which is dope. It's pretty cool because it's a commuter campus, so everyone's usually just going to class and then leaving or – going right to their own place they want to go and then right. leave in but or like even like that like since it is a commuter like some people go and have to like stay for like four hours oh yeah 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 because that's true. what i used to do yeah like i would, if like even like some days if i like i would get a, a class like before noon mm-hmm. and then have to work at four thirty. yeah and my commute is 35 minutes and i'm yeah. like it's not worth it. I'm like, I'm not wasting my gas. Do you ever try to explain that to someone that's from Kokomo, though? Dude, they don't get it. They don't get it. They I don't swear, because like, they were like, like, what? I'm like, yeah, I don't have class till 4, and it's like, you know, 12 or 11. They're like, well, I would just go home. I'm like, well, my home's 30 minutes away, right? which means an hour is driving. Dude, I like, hate <laughs> when they flex on you like that, though. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go home and take a nap. I'm like, dude, I'm going to wow. go sleep in my car because I'm not going to drive <laughs> home. That's what I used to do is I used to take naps in my car. Like, just I would go and, like. Let that thing recline. Not even. I would get in the just back seat. Straight up. I'd get in the back seat. I would lock oh. it. Get in the back. Lay down. I brought a pillow and a blanket because it was winter no when I would. Oh, okay. When I was, I was like doing in the it, summer. Yeah. You'd be like a dog. Just let me out. If someone break my window for me. <laughs> <laughs> they see me sleeping. Is he okay? Just bust my window. Call the campus police. The man passed out in the back of his car. Just write help on the steam in the car, but it's backwards, so it's like play. Play. Like. Eh, okay. I'll just keep walking. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'll yeah, speak that. This guy's fucking stupid. Another alien thing to do. <laughs> Play. This guy's been acting very alien recently. <laughs> very alien. Put him on the FBI watch list. We got an alien in our midst. <laughs> I'm going to keep my eye on you. <laughs> See me after class. <laughs> I think you're an alien, but I can't prove it. I'm not sure, but you might be an alien. But no, uh, they put these ping pong tables up. And so some kid came to our class and he's like, yeah, now I gotta go buy a freaking new ping pong paddle. I'm like, why? He goes, I lost, so I broke it. I was oh like, my oh my god! god. <laughs> I know. Like people that break stuff when they're mad, I <laughs> kind of scare me. I would get really angry, but I wouldn't break anything. I wouldn't punch anything. Yeah. Just in my head, like my blood pressure would rise, and yep. I'm like, oh my face would get red. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'd be mad at myself. It. That's the thing that sucks about the way I get angry. I get angrier with myself. Yeah. Than 
I feel that. Yeah, I'm and there. then it's like, then I just degrade into like this. Yes. I'm just like, God, I'm so stupid. God, I'm such something. an idiot. God. Like, why was I born this way? <laughs> like, born with like two brain cells. I'm so <laughs> stupid. Stepped on my shoe. Stepped on my shoe. Damn it. God. This stupid idiot. Got the gas cap was on the other side. Might as well drop out of school. I'm so stupid. Yep. Just go live under a bridge. Quitting. I'm, t- I'm just quitting going off grid. <laughs> Sovereign citizen. <laughs> so you guys never. I'm just going off the grid. I'm just angry. Uh, I'm just gonna casually cut my credit cards, <laughs> burn my social security yeah, card. I was gonna say burn the social. <laughs> but no, it's like shredding my ID. It's like this kid's trying to go to law school. <laughs> it's like, jeez. Can you imagine in like a, a case. in like a court? Yeah, yeah. you just like, throws the like the ma- <gasps> the mallet at the judge. Oh, the judge. Bonk him in the head. Bonk. It makes like that cartoon. <laughs> Dude, sound. you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like in a big courtroom, like that heavy ass mallet, like on a skull, like the it, gavel, like, the gavel. That's what I, mean. I don't. I couldn't know. think of it either, but yeah. I was like, mallet. It's a mallet's a good one. That's you a know? good. That's a good replacement <laughs> word until we figure it out. The gavel. What well, we substance. both in the back of our heads just figure out. With my other brain cell. Is, so. is it a? Is it a hammer? Is it a gavel? A gavel. 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 But like, I just imagine, like how loud that clonk would be. Cause you know, like, Bonk. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like exactly what it would sound like. Echo. Like, what the fuck? What just happened? Have you ever heard one of those things slam down? A gavel? Yeah. Yeah. In a court? I mean, like in a movie or something. Oh, sort of like, like in, not real in real life? life it's no. kind of, it's I've kind never of... been like in a. Oh, I've got stories then. Oh. Ooh. With my internship. Really? Yeah, I had to go sit on a couple court, uh, proceedings, and they were kind of boring. Not gonna lie. Yeah. The stuff they're talking about is <laughs> cool. That gavel slams you awake right up. <laughs> well, it was super awkward. Like the most uh, awkward thing. <laughs> well, I was in a court and it was like uh, it was the only one in the gallery, which is like the seats in the back where people can sit yeah. for spectating. So yeah. it's literally just the defendant and uh, the plaintiff, and then the prosecutor. And usually, since I was at a, it's a federal court, that means it's like the United States. So like the person that they're charging with the crime is usually like it's something pretty heavy like right usually it's like possession to distribute or possession with intent to distribute or just like large amounts of methamphetamine something like that so it's like this person something could crazy. get yeah they could get locked away for a while and so there's one cool to see it's kind of it is kind of cool yeah but it's also kind of crazy to think yeah, like, it's like how many i feel sit? like that'd be like kind of like all emotions a little bit it's more like you have to kind of i guess you don't have to i look at it as like uh that person probably knew what the right thing to do was, and they didn't. Yeah. So hopefully they, the yeah. punishment fits the crime. Like, you obviously don't – I'm not going to – Put him to death. <laughs> I'm not advocating for that. But it's Give also like don't let them off. Like, they did something that's wrong, and yeah. they probably caused some harm for people. Of so, course. But it is kind of crazy to think about what what happened in that person's life that led them to where they are right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because to think, like, I don't, we don't know what 10 years looks like for us. I'm hoping it's not in front of a judge, but to think like 10 years ago, that person probably didn't think they're going to be sitting in front of a judge with a, right. a 20 year sentence o- over right. their head. They had no, like, yeah, they could not picture themselves there. Right. Like, or maybe they could, and they've been a lifelong criminal. I don't right. know, but still straight out the womb. Yeah. I, I kind of want to know stories. Like I want to know like, if I could pull myself out and just watch her life or his yeah, life. That'd be cool. That'd like, be a, interesting. like a fly on the wall kind of yeah, type deal yeah. like, through their life. Except Timeline. for a fly that lived for longer than a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lifelong fly. I mean, I'm just following you around. No, but anyway, uh, back to the story. The guy was like, is there anyone in the courtroom that you don't recognize? And so I'm the only one in there that's not court security or a person on the court, like, uh, staff, so to speak. Yeah. So both, like, this person being charged with, like, this alleged criminal and their their attorney both turn and point at me. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there because I'm an intern. Like, yeah. I don't have – I don't get privileges to stand in the court. Like, I'm basically just a person. Right. I'm just a civilian dude yeah. just hanging just around. Just a viewer. Just a viewer. That's a better yeah. word for it. And so then my two brain cells went – you can't see it, so I'll try to – I'll show you, and then I'll kind of describe it. But they pointed at me, and then the two marshals – who that's the agency I was interning with. They both stood up because you stand up when you talk to the judge. And they said, uh, he's an intern. And so the judge is like, he's fine. So when the judge – after he said he's fine, I went, oh, my God. <laughs> the cool guy thumbs up. I did the up. cool guy thumb and pinky. <laughs> oh, no. 
anyway, oh, but you like, couldn't see it because the loose. yeah, I just the hang loose. The hang, I did the hang loose with like I pursed my lips a little bit and I was like. Yeah, you like like you know like the cool guy's face. It's like as if I knew like yeah, he let me in. Yeah, like we're yeah, tight. I'm here right now. You know me, <laughs> and I've never been like ah. <laughs> Afterward, I went to just walk out. Uh, yeah, you're like this has been enough for me. I'm done with this internship. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but I have to go. I'm sorry I've shamed Ayu Kokomo. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so that was that's probably the most. <laughs> I that's know. A, that, I think that's like the the best like reaction you could have ever done. Though. I know, because like, I was like, "Well, in I'm not." Retrospect. Yeah, that's how you know. I was just, I was just comfortable in your courtroom, sir. <laughs> you know, I'm, I feel very at home I here. Feel very at home. <laughs> yeah. It's a little cold. Yeah, these benches could be a little bit more comfortable, but <laughs> other than that, can someone give me a blanket? <sighs> but uh, that's crazy though. But hearing that gavel, I've seen a couple cases where like you hear it, and it's it's interesting because like the attorneys just talk to each other afterwards like in the court yeah. they're like arguing or like they're pleading their case and people are testifying <laughs> i had to lean back for that sniffle <laughs> i didn't want to i'm leaned up against them like i didn't want to but it was so loud i'm sure that it was like <laughs> you know kind of like the off mic like kind of far away uh, i feel like tays on day <laughs> i turned away to breathe <laughs> so you, i thought you could hear it <laughs> no but hearing the gavel is like okay that's kind of <laughs> yeah it kind of is some like it's pretty in, dramatic i feel like with it for something like i don't know i feel like for me at least i'm like mm. oh it's like i've seen that in the movies <laughs> like, right very neat like that's not something i feel like for me that's not something like i would see like in any normal day like, yeah i've never been in a courtroom mm -hmm. like in my life yeah like so like the first time i feel like would be like all right that's pretty dope that's pretty dope i feel like some people are like Again, <laughs> yeah. Can you hit it twice? <laughs> yeah. Just in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> have you seen? It's been going on for a, a couple of years now, I think. But have you seen that one? If there's always, for me at least, I see the videos on Facebook of like the one judge. I forget where he's at, but he's like the older guy. Mm -hmm. He's like got the, I don't know what kind of accent, but it's like it sounds like not New York accent, but like in that general region. I don't know exactly. Okay. Like how to match accent to the place. Yeah. But it's like up. In the top Up right east. of the U.S., yeah, like in that general the area, Bronx. yeah, it's okay. it's something like that. But he's like older. He kind of looks like Joe Pesci. Um, he's a judge, and then like it all started like one time. There was a video of him, and uh, so like this person came up, and like was like given like I don't want to say sob story because that's kind of rude. I right. guess like mean to say, but okay. like giving him their story of like what happen to like get it like a ticket or yeah like why they were like in there it's not anything in the like, predicament they it's not anything caught. like like yeah you're talking like selling meth or anything right. like that you know like doing like murder like breaking and entering doing it's usually murder doing murder so <laughs> guys just doing murder here please don't interrupt me while i do murder <laughs> but <laughs> but like uh it's just stuff like a speeding ticket. Right, or something really little. Like a parking yeah. ticket. Yeah. Like that's what it usually is. But like it all started like this one person like went in there. It's a video. And mm -hmm. like he just – the judge was like super nice and like like sympathetic mm -hmm. and was like, yeah, you're free. It's like don't worry about it. Yeah. And then they're like, whoa. But now there's like a video like every day. And he – like I feel like now that it went viral, like he has to give everybody a pass. So you know? he's just like everyone yeah. goes to him. That's what I feel like because I see the videos all the time. Really? Like of a different person. Huh. Of like a different kind of – like a different parking ticket, different speeding ticket, different whatever yeah. it was. Right. Um, they give their story, and it's kind of like a sad mm -hmm. like reason why. Or like sometimes I saw this like one like meathead-looking dude that had like <laughs> – the way he talked like didn't seem very smart. Okay. He's like uh, – He's known for he's, – he had more – bronze than brains they exactly would say. Yeah. exactly and he just kind of like stumbled with his like plea or whatever and the judge is like uh yeah you're cool just go but wow. now i feel like like yeah it's cool to see yeah he seems like a really cool nice guy the right. judge does but it's like i feel like he's pressured now ah like the fame yeah he's kind of got, got to him. he's got yeah. a brand he has to live up yeah to exactly like that's what was, that's what i was trying to get across the free but pass i couldn't judge. say for some reason but like exact the free pass judge and like <laughs> if he posted on facebook he's gonna get a million views yeah because like, like depending on like the story and like he's like all right yeah you're good to go it's almost like tv at that point yeah except for you know the outcome for, yeah like just, i don't know huh I just, I just, that's kind of that interesting me, though it made me think of it because i saw it forever ago and yeah I've, I've been seeing it recently like even more and more mm -hmm. and i'm just like how do you like 
does he, like is he pressured to let these people go and like pressure yeah. just like kind of like do you think he has his mind made up like as soon as they walk in you know <laughs> they're what I mean? free to go that is like he's like yeah time. No, whatever he's like yeah go. you're yeah. good it's, yeah, I mean, probably not. It's probably for like different. Probably things, not. But Who's is it? Someone filming it, like in the audience, or I is think, it like I, a camera? No, it's like because it's like it, a camera for the courtroom. Oh, okay, like the, that makes sense. Because there's like one stable camera. Like, yeah, it looks like it's on a wall. Gotcha. Like, facing the, right, like whoever's like pleading their case or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then there's one like stable camera, like yeah, facing the facing judge. the judge. And it's just yeah, yeah. those two cameras. That makes sense. Yeah, and it's just like like I said for like the little stuff like that, like little speeding tickets and huh. like parking tickets and just like little. Stuff just like that. Infractions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like nothing crazy. Right. But that's he, interesting. He always just is like, they give this like. So, it's like, a, usually a sad story. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he's like, all right. Huh. All right, you're okay. That's or like sometimes he'll be like, uh, so we'll like, he's like, how about we uh, change the ticket to like $5 and like you're good to go. Yeah. Which I just made that up. I don't know if like you can actually do that. But right, like it's but something like that. Yeah. And it just made me think, I was like, I wonder if he, feel pre- if he feels pressured. And that kind of sucks. I'd say so. Or maybe imagine, he's like imagine that first like the first because I was gonna say if it's someone filming it, then it's like people are probably waiting for him to give a harsh sentence. Yeah. So then they can post that and be like, this guy's a <laughs> this guy's he's an a, asshole. Yeah, he's yeah. a jerk, and it's like there's like well, there's 50 other videos of him like being nice, helping people out, and stuff. right? Yeah. Which I, I don't know. Maybe that day will come. This judge is canceled. Judge Let's cancel him. Cancel um, <laughs> whatever judge is over party or whatever the <laughs> yeah, whatever his name is the, over party. <laughs> We'll figure it out. <laughs> That's but, interesting. Though. And then maybe like people are like, "Yes, I got this judge. So let me get a story." Yeah. And like, like I feel like people mm-hmm. are faking it now. Yeah. Like it's very true. Yeah. Because there will be somehow related. They're like, "Look, I was in this video that went viral." Yeah. And then. Or they're like, "He's a good guy. If I give him, he'll let me go." Yeah. Like he's doing the video. I want that judge. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Which but, is so interesting to think about how. Uh, the justice system is like supposed to be fair and impartial yeah yeah you probably there's probably just as equally as you have this judge here you probably have some jersey judge who's like yeah you should have paid your ticket exactly fifteen hundred dollars and you're like yeah. i was in the wrong he's spot going like five over the screen he's like fifteen hundred fifteen hundred easy yeah now we get gotta, out of here now get out of here i'm judging here i'm gonna tie your feet to some cinder blocks <laughs> drop you Drop you in the Manhattan River. Is that a? Is that? I was gonna say. I don't know. I was. I the missed. Hudson. I'm gonna put you in the Hudson. <laughs> I missed the joke so hard there. I'm so glad you like saved me I and saved like, cut me off. But yeah. like, I want to say what river, but I could not I think of one in that know. area. I the Niagara Falls. Isn't that near there? <laughs> Drop you in the Niagara Falls. No, but that's that is interesting. It is. I don't. That's a lot of stress. I feel like to be a judge. Mm-hmm. I feel like you have to kind of separate yourself from it after a while oh definitely like you have to separate like you kind of have to like put your morals in check yeah and, like kind of have to like put them off to the side and be like mm-hmm. i'm doing my job this is for yeah yeah because uh i saw a case that it was just supposed to be like um i think that it wasn't supposed to be the actual trial so like it wasn't supposed to be the the sentence the determination of not guilty or or guilty does that make sense Run that by me one more time. <laughs> okay, so usually there's a couple. Th- when you go to a judge, there's a pre-sentencing, mm-hmm. which is they tell you what you're being charged with. Um, they give all the details of that. So Cameron Engelhorn, you've been charged with doing murder. Doing murder on uh, February thirtieth, tw- uh, twenty twenty, <laughs> approximately this time. Yeah. Uh, and then they'll kind of set the rules of like, okay, uh, here's. When we'll where we'll meet, where you're gonna be held at during the time until the meet or until the court processions, and then you meet again, and then when you meet again, you can determine. That's when you kind of have the trial. So that's okay. when you have the the TV scenario of like, oh, okay, Your Honor, I yeah. o- I object. Yeah. Right. So the thing I went to wasn't supposed to be the trial, but this guy was calling witnesses and like he was going <laughs> like the it full was a nine. Trial? Yeah, he was treating it like a trial. Like he had pictures. People like the United States uh, had to had to have witnesses to represent Dang. them, and they're like, you know, I'm an expert in this field of narcotics. So anyway, so then they determined they were like, okay, based on the evidence, you know, you can't, you were, you are insufficient to prove things like in a like it didn't prove anything. Well, they proved some things, but you have to prove things without a reasonable, beyond a reasonable doubt. Okay. So there's a it's called the oh, okay. the burden of proof. So yeah. if you charge me with a crime 
that's a criminal thing, not like a legal. Like, okay, do you know about O.J. Simpson? Do you know how he was found not guilty? Yes. Okay, because the glove didn't fit. Yeah, the and, glove didn't fit. So you must have quit and all that. <laughs> so there wasn't enough evidence to prove he was guilty because the burden of proof was on the, the United States or the court to prove that he committed the crime. So okay. it needs to be beyond a reasonable doubt, which is without question, the evidence is sufficient to right. prove that he or she like did. Like the evidence, it. like is a w- thousand percent yeah. proves it? Okay, like it's yeah, objectively true. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Now in a civil court, you have preponderance of the evidence. Which is like, I don't even know what preponderance means, but it basically means like in questioning. Like, I don't know what the exact definition means, but it basically means like if you have to question it, then it's most likely true. Yeah. Like if you have doubts. If you have doubt. Basically, yeah. Yeah. So, um, golly, I don't even remember where I was at. I don't either. I'm so lost. I just feel like you're you're teaching us right now. Well, I'm putting that degree to work (laughs) right now. (laughs) I was going to say, dude. Um, like you're really just like going professor mode on it. <laughs> but the, uh, okay, so the judge was saying how uh, the United States was insufficient to prove this, this, and this, but they were sufficient to prove this. So what it kind of does is it shapes the the sentence that they get. So like if I can prove that you were involved in the murder, but you maybe you didn't commit the murder, that changes what time you serve, basically. Right. So okay. we went through this whole – it was like two hours of this guy just putting people through the ringer, showing up text message screenshots. Like one of the things that I thought was hysterical, but it's – it was hysterical to me because you'd be like, why would you ask someone that? But when you're in court of law, you're you're asking – you're treating them like you have to question everything. L- everything. So he showed a screenshot of um, some text messages about people and drugs, whether they were buying or selling. Like this guy was out on probation, and he's like uh, – the guy that he was texting said, hey, I got some, Let's. you want some? And so the guy was talking about, you want some drugs or whatever. Dude, he's going full. I think he just nutted. Pause. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Get that man some. He's been humping that pillow this entire time. <laughs> like, not, like, not giving up. We're, this has been, <laughs> it's been like 45 minutes, James. Oh, man. This dude does not quit. I'd get rid of All right, that. sorry. That okay. just like he made a loud noise, and then I can see on my peripheral. I just can't. We're hu- like, we're gonna have to live stream this sometime. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you can we get a Stanley cam? <laughs> you get that? Like those eagles, <laughs> like the bald eagle nests cam, like Stanley cam. Put it on my Ninja Turtles pillow that he loves so much. Ever since I got that like three years ago, he. He loves it just as much. That's his girlfriend, dude. Yeah. That's like, that's the sex doll <laughs> for him. <laughs> like, I used to, like, it's like I used her, to have a that bed movie frame. with uh, Joaquin Phoenix and the Siri. You ever, I never watched it, but remember? No. It's like this dude falling in love with an AI robot. What? Yeah, it's called Her. Her? Yes. I, I, dude, that just, I think I clipped the mic because it just like <laughs> the green light changed to red and it flashed. It says no, don't. I did not mean to clap that loud. Don't I'm do so that. Sorry. I think I just killed everyone's speakers. <laughs> busted them shits. Um, so I hope not. But yes, I was. I didn't like hear exactly what you said. Like oh. what? Mo- like you said her, and yeah. I like I think you said herb. I herb. was like I don't. The I don't car. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Herbie. Herbie. I've, I've fallen in love with Herbie fully loaded. <laughs> Can we make kind of movie? <laughs> <laughs> How I fell in love with Herbie fully loaded. <laughs> but yes, I. Okay. Anyway, that's. I'm sorry. The I just, whole point of that was yeah. Stanley is Joaquin Phoenix and <laughs> the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is Siri or <laughs> whatever. whatever. And I forget her name. I just watched it recently. Oh really? I've yeah. never watched it because I was Dude. like, it doesn't look interesting. But oh, it's Joaquin Phoenix, man. Like I, I. The th- I think the only thing I've seen him in is the Joker that wow. I am aware of. Wow, wow, wow! I know he's I, probably that's a- okay. I'm just like recently over the last like two years, mm-hmm. like since the podcast, yeah. maybe I think even before that, I've become like really into film, mm-hmm. like really, really into film. Like yeah. I just love cinephile. Yeah, I just <laughs> like cool. Like I just like will geek out over like cool shots, like how like well these actors can like actors and actresses can like portray Portrayed. a yeah. different person like yeah that like i just like dream about that like i think it's so cool like i would love to do that yeah and just like her is a, such a good movie okay. and joaquin phoenix does like such an incredible job and then i forget who directed it i don't remember mm-hmm. and like but like 
the the shots and like the cine, like the cinemagra- cinema cinematography cinematography Jesus I'm an idiot give you the rock cinematography is just stunning like it's okay. it's beautiful it really is a good movie okay I'll add that to my list it's long as hell though is it it's like three hours I think we just watched Wolf of Wall Street and I forgot how long of a movie <sighs> that is I know I saw you text in the group chat about that and that I love that movie yeah I just think it's like, it's just like a badass movie right and I love Jonah Hill. <laughs> Can I, I want to finish my court story yeah, before dude, we sorry, go. I'm going crazy movies. right now. I'm going crazy. Sorry, we start talking about movies and then I get, okay, we'll talk I about get movies. excited. So anyway, so back before it's kind of Stanley's fault, more than anyone. Um, so the judge had or the prosecutor, the defendant, the defendant's attorney, had screenshots of text messages from like an iPhone. And so you know how you send the I think when you send a text to an Android from an iPhone. Is it green? Yeah, it's green. The text you send are green, and then the text they send you. The are text, the text they send you are green, and the ones you send are gray. No, it's backwards. Oh shit. Okay, so the text you send are green, and the text they send you are gray. Okay, so they he screenshotted that, and he's like, the the attorney's like, so how do you know who's sending who messages? Because they have to prove that. Like we just assume it, because like yeah, that guy is around these people, and he's. Got he got caught with drugs, but you know this guy's trying to get this evidence, and so okay. the attorney's like, "How do you know who's sending who messages?" And the guy on the the witness stands like, "That's just how iPhones work." <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know an iPhone? But works like, yeah, a dinosaur man. So anyway, so because of that, like the guy didn't respond and all that. So anyway, so because of the evidence, the guy got a lesser sentence because the court didn't get to prove it. Really? Or the United States didn't prove the prove that he was involved with like the, to the full extent yeah, that he was yeah, getting yeah. charged with yeah okay which i could just go i hope that gets picked up on the mic God, so people know too. stanley's crying right now he's sad i think it's because the pillow won't give him anything back <laughs> jesus <laughs> he's we, going so hard we on can go back to movies now i just think it's <laughs> it's crazy that like uh i don't know just being in a courtroom no and seeing that stuff is it's kind of eye-opening and right. then it's it's always interesting to me because People are like, oh, you know, I'm like criminal justice major. I'm applying for police departments. And yeah. so people are like, oh, so you, do you watch CSI? I'm like, nope. <laughs> like NCIS? I'm like, nope. You watch Law you and watch Order? Criminal Minds? Nope. They're like all these crime shows. I'm like, that's not even how. It's not, yeah. It's it is really so not how it far, works. It's so far from real life. <laughs> right. It's like, why? It can't, I can't even be bothered with how yeah. it looks. Which I mean, sure, they're, they're good shows. They are good shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not knocking them, but I'm just saying, if, you, if you're out there and you think that's how it really works, you're wrong. You got another thing coming. Maybe like the so. first 48 or something that talk about actual right. events that oh, happen. Yeah, that like follow like real Follow real stuff. Things, I don't, yeah. And I haven't seen live PD. I feel like Dude. that one's kind of whack. I don't. I saw. Is that like a newer cops? I feel like that's what it kind of is. Sorry, so. sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, but like, you said, YPD. YPD is like a cops. I feel like it's like cops, isn't it? The same. It's kind of like cops? yeah, it's kind of like cops. Yeah, but like but cops is like way more dr- like. Bad boys, what you want? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I feel like okay. I can see cops being like. <laughs> just keep doing that. <laughs> just while I'm talking. Go off. Just the rest of the party. Like, bad boys, bad boys, what you gotta do? That was really good. Sing it, man. <laughs> just belted that. But like I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I feel like cops. I'm is so embarrassed. So I what? I just, I just sang that. I feel so. Like, it's all good, man. <laughs> Whenever I like, do comp- something we're like that, company. we're in good company. Whenever I do something, I get so embarrassed of myself. What was I going to say? <laughs> thrilling, a thrilling time lies ahead. I, yes. think, we, I think we have it. That was it. very thrilling, the Bad Boys theme song. Yeah. Um, the Cops theme song, I mean. But, like, so I feel like Cops is a little more played up. I could see yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. But, like, live PD is, like. Does it look like real? Like it's real? seriously, li- it really is live. That's like, crazy. Like, it's actually live. Huh. I'll have to like, check it out then. Yeah, like, th- none of that shit is, like played out or mm-hmm. anything like that it's that's a lot that's my f- that's what i like i love uh like there's a documentary on netflix called dope yeah and part of it's like part of it is like they have to wear masks and their voices get all like you can tell some oh, of yeah, it's yeah. some of it's like there's these there's people that went to a room of drugs like they're like there's all right we're gonna film you guys for a documentary and these drug dealers just came in with like they come in with gold teeth and guns like part of it is you know that they're definitely portraying themselves to be these hard criminals yeah but, but then really the other like part them. is like they actually show people like using drugs and it's mm-hmm. like it's kind of like the whole nature's metal thing 
<laughs> where it's like it just puts it into perspective how much you think you know, like how right. how filtered real life is. I guess okay. is the better yeah. way to go about Definitely. it. Definitely, like yeah, I think about all the time is like I I have I think about it all the time. Like what is going on? Like what right now at this exact second in time Mm -hmm. how many like like how many like criminal like how much criminal activity is going on in like back alleys in like new york right like how many people do you think are like getting robbed and like shot like at this exact moment like somewhere in the world and we're just like sitting here doing this podcast right isn't that crazy yeah to me that's kind of crazy for me it's uh it's almost like the waking up and being like i don't know it's hard because like i'm i'm a religious person so part of me is like I'm grateful for every day because someone is getting their last. Like, someone's last day was today. Yeah. And they don't know it or they know it. And someone, like, even, like, someone probably, like, right right there in that second, someone probably just died. Like, on the earth. (laughs) And we have no idea. That's heavy, man. But, like, it's true. Yeah. Like, not just even one person. Like, a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Probably a lot of people that just just breathe their last breath. The world's huge. I think it kind of also, for me, that, like, thinking about that, like, Makes me think of like how small we are. Mm. Like yeah, looking up into stars at night and just being like, "Holy shit!" We're we're a grain of sand on a beach that is infinite, which is the part that's crazy. Infinite. We uh, infinite. Small, someone we're an atom. Someone described infinite. I can't remember. I think it was a professor. It's like infinite is all that there ever was and all that there ever will be. That is infinity, because it's like both ways yeah yeah and it, isn't that crazy that, that's mind-blowing that's so we don't even have to be high to no. think like, to think about that for a second like, i wish more people thought about that i feel like too. some people don't yeah mo- like and maybe definitely. ignorance is bliss where it's like maybe <laughs> some people have a happier life because right. they don't have that like existential like yeah. thought over their head because i think that's like i think that's a big reason that's probably like a big reason people like are sad or like depressed too because like you get like that thought in your head mm-hmm. and you're like i mean nothing like, yeah yeah and, which, how small no one cares I, I, I fell everyone off cares by the way For i just want to put that out there yeah everyone cares every like, like yeah i've been a really uh that 12 rules book i know i keep um, every episode i'm probably gonna plug it do it but seriously like i for a little bit on my instagram and i'm thinking about doing it more often like uh, part of me wants to do it for the meme to be like a uh a Dwayne Johnson and just being like, today's a day you can crush it. Yeah. But the other part of me is like, if someone needs to hear that message, then yeah, you could like, you could really you help do. somebody like that. Right. But, like, um, I, and I feel like sometimes like not to like cut you off, but like, no, go ahead. In our like humor and friend group. Yeah. Like with stuff like that, we would like point and laugh at that, you know, mm-hmm. like, oh, that's corny as shit. Yeah. We probably, like, yeah, a lot yeah. of people like that, but like, that's some real stuff. Yeah. Like you really like, I well, don't know, you could really help something. Yeah, like that. I've been like, I've been really getting into this idea of, um, when people say like they want to make the world better, or they talk about the world, I want to change the world. It's like okay, if you're Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, if you're Einstein, yeah, like a very like a an extremely minute portion of people that have ever lived on this earth have that ability. So I'm not trying to say that you can't, you know, like you can't change the world. But I think it's bigger of you to change your world. And by that, I mean the people you interact with on a daily yeah. basis. Yeah. The people that make up your world. Because, like, like... Your world and their world. And their world. Well, yeah. well it kind of goes to, the, like, what you do affects them. And right. then it can affect their world. And then, and then it, it kind of... Yeah. It just and I've been really on. liking that idea. Because, um, I don't know. It's just, like, think about all the people you have on social media. It's like, I, I don't get to talk to those people every day or even once a week but it's like if i can still try to positively impact them Mm -hmm. and like people like you really do matter whoever's listening to this you really do matter yeah like guarantee you someone cares about you and someone loves you yeah yeah (laughs) and that's (laughs) and i think that's a great uh i think it's a great way to live your life if you're trying to make your world better and make you can make other people's worlds better thereby or I guess to make their worlds better, thereby yeah. making your worlds better, or s- vice versa. But absolutely. But I really do think that more people need to understand the importance that they have. Mm-hmm. Like we're not just like I think it's the uh, the postmodern, like to get like philosophical, but like this concept of like things are just things. Uh, I don't know how to else to describe it. Like we don't matter. Like we're just human beings on Earth. And right. When our yeah, time it's like back takes, to that grain of sand thing. Is like, yeah, we're, we're just so a grain sm- of sand. Yeah. yeah, we don't matter. But like, 
we're still living but you're also, we have a conscious you, yeah like, but on the other side it's like you are you're a big part of for example like cindy's world like you yourself right. are a big part of that so it's like you're not just a grain of sand to her no so that's why yeah. i think more people need to act or like think about real, think about yeah yeah like think really about and realize that you're yeah. not just a person on this earth you're to a person remember that, that can they need to start remembering, remembering that, that. Like, we're gonna quiz you later <laughs> <laughs> remember this yeah but no I, it'll be on scantron i've been definitely thinking like more people need to, to act like like they they do matter because yeah, they do which i know it's hard and i feel like oh i've yeah. definitely gone through a point like in the last year or two like where i've been like I never thought that I would be like be depressed. Yeah. And like I could never see myself. Yeah. I'm always like, how are people depressed? Like that right. like must be awful. And I don't. But like, what, tr- what was that like? Uh, dude, it's just terrible. Is it, it just, just like great? Like, I go through fate. Like I go through moods where, uh, everything's just kind of like going through the motions and things. Yeah. I call it gray yes. because it just feels like things are like things are gray and like things. Yeah. You, I, but I don't know if that's de- like I feel like depression is a whole nother level of that. And I, I don't. don't I think it's different for everybody. Okay. Like, and it, like for me at least, it's like it's different and the same for a lot of people. Like I was like going through the motion of like, oh, like I have anxiety. Like I through the roof anxiety. Like mm-hmm. everything. I I think like three thousand steps ahead, and I overthink. Yeah. And I that's I, such a like and like something yeah. would happen like even like talking to Cindy and stuff like before like when we were like going on our when first like dates courting. and like talk like, like courting yeah. each other yeah i would like it like one text would like it still does right like if she texts me something and like like in my head i'm like is she mad at me I'm yeah like, i'm like what did i do like right like, and what's then you going start on analyzing like, what did I, everything like, I, that's happened you yeah. over analyze like, yeah i think that's part of the anxiety not really right depre- it like, kind of fuels it kind of fuels yeah, 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 yeah. it fuels it yeah. that's true yeah but like you just wake up and it's just like i mean i still have them like i've, I've been mm-hmm. having them and you just wake up, and it's a bad day. Yeah, there's times where you get the, uh, hey, I have something on my mind text. And it's like yeah. you can't talk about it right now because it's like you, you're you better off talking about it in person because right. it's such a heavy – like yeah. not heavy topic, but there's just a lot. So it's yeah. like you're better to talk about it in person. And so like there's that brief moment of me like this is you're it. Like, She's shit. dumping me. Shit. Yeah. I know. You're but like, then, yep, it's over. Yeah, and then it ends up being something that's like not even <laughs> yeah. close. Hey, you want to like make spaghetti tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, I was yeah. thinking about dinner. And, uh <laughs> Right, and you're like, what was I even worried about? Yeah, exactly. That, but you get that. All, I mean, yeah. Every, every single day, I have that. Every single that's day. that's crazy. And yeah. then to think that, like, uh, like I have a lot of mental health, not illness. I don't have mental illness in my family, but like, <laughs> mental health is definitely a big thing in my family. Yeah. And so, like, my aunt goes through seasonal affective disorder, and so it's like winter time. She just gets like, yeah. She's like, Ugh, oh whatever. yeah, that shit is crazy. Yeah, and, and then like. I didn't know this, but, like, uh, so Cindy in nursing school, uh-huh. she, like, we've been, we go to the gym, and there's a tanning bed, and we've been tanning, because okay. we're like, yo, it's February, March, we're looking a little gray, looking, yeah. like, kind of like ghosts, yeah. we're like, let's just tan, whatever, mm-hmm. um, and her professor actually was saying that, like, tanning can help with the seasonal depression, Really? and Cindy was kind of going through, like, has, like, seasonal depression, depression. was, like, getting, like kind of rough and she's like after tanning she's like i'm just you happier feel better, but, yeah. yeah which i think it's just like it's a big self-esteem booster i think yeah. that's part of the problem is like yeah. not the problem but like part well, of the the it, reason yeah 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 it's like you look at yourself and you're like oh i'm pale as shit like yeah like i was going through i wake like, up dude, I'm I, like, honestly i wake up and do that every day yeah but I, like, if i tan i just burn so i'm like i just like, i've yeah. just accepted it like, yeah People are like, do you tan? I'm like, I get one shade. I go from eggshell to like <laughs> vanilla in the summer. I go from eggshell to cream. It's like that's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> but no. But, but I think like I yeah, it's like, and it I think crazy. that's a big part of kind of like the depression kind of side of it is yeah. how you look at yourself and yeah. like body dysmorphia and stuff. I go through. That's that, crazy. Like, I was sometimes I look at my like. Every day, I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, "Oh shit!" Like I'm feeling pretty skinny right now. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll walk. Like I'll go do something. Like, right. Go Some plug physical, my phone in. Yeah. Come back, and I'm like, "Jesus!" I'm like, "I'm fat as hell." Just like, something I'm changed. disgusting. Like, yeah. That's, that's how I think. Really. And it sucks because like because like you walk away, you come back, you look different. Yeah. And I'm like, what? What happened? Yeah. I'm like like what? you're the same. It's person. been three seconds. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's I think body dysmorphia. I feel like it's such a weird thing because i feel i think if you if you have a goal like you're trying to get back into like gym shape and mm-hmm. going to the gym so yeah. like you have a goal of like what you want right so i feel like there's 
a thin balance between you need a healthy amount of body dysmorphia to keep you keep going pushing to the gym. You. Yeah. But it's also the point like where you look in the mirror and you don't see things that you're doing right or improvements. You right. see the things that haven't changed or what you're unhappy with. Right. And it's such a it's such a catch twenty two because even like not to brag, but it's like I think I've been in pretty decent shape for James, you're fucking built, <laughs> bro. You're ripped. For a decent amount of my yeah, life. Yeah. And so I still look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I just wish I could fix this. Yeah. But it's like, I, I think, know. I think everybody has it. It's yeah. A, yeah. And I, but I, even if I fix that, I knew I'd find something else. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You find it's the like, next oh, thing. My teeth are a little, like, if I could fix this tooth, Dude. I'd be better. But it's like, why? It's so crazy to think about why, why we put those, put that. I think it's expectations or like burping and that's but fine i'm trying to talk now, while you're doing yeah. it so. <laughs> especially now it's very like wow it's we're getting so deep i love it honestly uh, this me is too. this is what i'm here this for is, right yeah. here oh yeah but like it's such like a uh we're in such a world i mean this yeah. has been said so many times over right so many podcasts over so many videos over everything just but add it's like, it. go just ahead add it. just throw add it, it out the there. List. but it's like we're in a world it's like you see these people that are perfect mm-hmm. and like they make a lot of money. Yeah. Everything people looks get, right. Yeah, everything everything is put out there. Everything looks right. Like if someone puts like if I don't know, people get made fun of so easily on the internet like they become memes so quickly mm-hmm. and it's like it's just meme. Yeah. Like people like these people like see themselves as a me- as a meme. Yeah. And they're like these people are fucking like making fun of me. Yeah. Like I have millions of people making fun of me, like make like different yeah. ways, and that's such a the thing. Yeah. That's with like fame. Like yeah. the internet brings out the best and worst of Ooh, people. Oh yeah. So it's like, like there's some on good one parts, hand, and then the dark parts are dark. Yeah, like dark, dark, dark. The people that are doing nothing but like trying to, trying to, I don't know, promote a positive message, they'll still just get. It's as oh, if yeah. it's as yeah. if they're the cause of problems. Get like shit on. So yeah. Hard. Yeah. Which is interesting. Like, uh, I know Emily is very big about people. She'll follow people that, like, don't use Photoshop or, like, models, like, brands or companies that, like, are very self uh, – what's the word? They're real. S- promoting positive self-image. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And I'd say real in the yeah. fact that they're not airbrushing. They're not doing a lot of Photoshop. They they might put a filter on it. Yeah, but then. it's not – you're going to see, like – uh stretch marks like yeah yeah which i think is very i think it's, it's human that's what it is it's yeah, human that, very that's human some, behavior it's human activity yeah <laughs> so we got some human activity going on over here no but i think that i think stuff like that's good but um i don't know i think it's such a it is such a weird because on one hand I'm, i agree to that wholeheartedly like we need more people to feel better about themselves right but on the other hand, I also I'm not sure how much I believe the the concept of like we all want to like men just look at Brad Pitt in Fight Club because that's what I wanted to be like. When yeah. I was, I was like I want to look like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. I remember that. Yeah. Like, I remember you posting like videos and, like pictures about that. <laughs> I posted a pic. Like, uh, a video would be his, a little like, too some, much of a douche. Which, I don't remember his name. I've never seen Fight Club. Todd or uh, not Todd Durley. Tyler, Gosh. Tyler, Tyler Durley. Durden. Yeah. Tyler Durden. Yeah. I, mean, I just said I love like movies earlier too and i've never seen fight club like one of those like what classic Hall that's of a really critically i watched that movie five times and i tweeted about each time i watched it i took away a different message from it really yeah i need to watch it you should watch it five Soon, times man. and we can it's, compare I, <laughs> I will yeah i'll watch okay. it five times take notes each time yeah and then we can compare notes all right i'll actually that do good. that sounds I good i mean take a little bit to like fit in five times five watching times. it but like i'll actually do it call off work just take a day hey sorry i can't come in today i'm gonna watch 10 hours of this movie <laughs> and it's one movie for 10 hours i have to watch uh fight club for the third time today i really can't make it in <laughs> for the third time yeah. sorry i have to i have to skip a meal i have to watch this movie <laughs> eight more times yeah. but like um like no uh, like i was saying it's like th- then you also go to walmart and you'll see like <laughs> Yeah. You already know where I'm going with this. Like, you'll just see a family, and it's like some – that dude had sex with that woman <laughs> to make a kid. Yeah. So it's like clearly you're not holding him, holding that too high. So that's my pro- – that's where I kind of come at it from, like, on one hand, I definitely agree. Like, especially women, and not to get on, like, a feminist soapbox here, I think it's just, like, a good person thing to do. Like, I feel like women get – they have really hard times looking at themselves and yeah. feeling beautiful. Yeah because there's just such a wide it's like 
It's almost like, you know how thick became more attractive? <laughs> yeah. And so then it's like, so now what? Skinny girls aren't attractive? Right. You know what I mean? Like, have it's you seen? Like a flip yeah, there's like a thing about where like beauty standards is what they call it through the decades. So it showed like what the uh, yeah what the ideal woman looked like in the 50s and then the 60s decade. and then the 70s. Yeah. yeah. And I think that is kind of sad because it's like you're also alien you're ina- alienating when you object when you put skinnier girls on a pedestal. Then you're alienating girls who are a little bit bigger. Right. But Everybody then when you else. do the opposite. Then you're, you're also a, the same group, so it's like just women can women are just beautiful. Love everybody, it's just everybody love. loved themselves. Everybody ELE. loved everybody. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but on the other hand, then I look go to Walmart or CVS, and I'm like, okay, clearly, it's just whatever's around you. It must be because <laughs> this guy's yeah, this guy doesn't have a problem with it. He's got eight <laughs> kids or something. So you should be with eight kids. That freaks me out. This rabbit human. <laughs> people going at never it. ending. Uh, you know, I think about that, and, like, I think about the woman. Okay. How do you – you were pregnant for nine years. Oh, because you're counting out all the time. Like, who? Eight months times nine. What's that? Nine months? 72 months. Did you months. get born eight months in? Did you get, oh, maybe. <laughs> uh, was I early, Mom? <laughs> Mom, can you please call me? Was I early? <laughs> was I, <laughs> I guess nine. Yeah, you're right. Wow, but my ignorance. It's okay. I, <laughs> I was not calling you stupid. Going off I about – I know about all these legal terms, but I don't know how long a human <laughs> baby's in the womb for – yeah. College. Like, <laughs> but I know how the courtroom works, so. <laughs> Once that gavel slams down, I'm in there, baby. Yeah. It's a gavel, by the way. Not a mallet. <laughs> um, Yeah, like, who? <laughs> I, I I, mean, we don't know. Yeah. But, like, I feel like if you ask, like, in, like a, any other, like, woman, it's mm-hmm. like, would you, like, after, like, one kid? Yeah. Like, if you ask, like, a mom of one kid, you're like, would you want – Another seven more. You're Another like, seven. You're like Jesus. It's yeah. Like, Some people want get big families though. I guess more power to you. Yeah. If you the Duggards. It's twenty eight and count. Me like thirty two kids. Yeah, no problem. I want to get a half a half a bit half a Benji of kids. <laughs> Just a, 50 get a baker's rack. dozen. A baker's dozen. <laughs> <laughs> you get like two baker's dozens. Jeez. Baker's dozens. Bakers is dozens. But yeah, it's like I don't know. Like I saw the like I saw this joke. I'm just biting it, but like I'm not gonna say it. But like I saw this joke. That yeah. Was like you have enough kids to like have a softball team <laughs> face another softball team. It's like you have two full softball teams. Like yeah. for children. I it's saw like that. I thought everyone's it was so last funny. name on the back of the shirt's the same. <laughs> yeah, <they're laughs> like, oh shit! Yeah. That'd we all cool. win. Also, I would watch the Duggards. The Duggars. The Duggards. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like the Amish, the thuggers, <laughs> Amish, the, the thuggers. thuggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the super slimy thuggers <laughs> tape. I would listen to that. Do you know how many verses they'd have to put all their kids? It'd be like a ten-minute song. <laughs> That's like the Migos times like fourteen. It's like that shit's crazy, dude. But I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. I just lost it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just lost what I was talking about. Just big about. family, so if you went up to a woman, you're like, I don't know. Because some kids, some some kids, some kids want a lot of kids. Some people want big families. <laughs> I can't, I don't know if I can get that yet. Like, if I don't you, know if I can get behind that idea. No. Like, I, res- I respect so, a big yeah. family if you can provide for them. That's, see, that's where I'm like, I'd like to save up some wealth. Yeah. But if you can afford one kid yeah. and have six and then you're just like, I don't know. It just because our kids are expensive. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like I remember taking. Uh, it's like personal finance with Miss Bickle. Shit, Miss Pickle. Miss Pickle. I saw she's so nice though. She is. She's like, Respect. hey, how's it going? I'm like, yeah. You remember me? Big shouts out to Miss Pickle. Big shouts. She's probably getting some beach bod fitness. Dude, for real. She's an entre- She's a young entrepreneur. I don't know about young. She's an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about young. She just retired. Oh, did she really? She retired like a year after we left. Oh, did, we graduated oh, in 2016. Know. Yeah. And she retired the year after, I think. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember her. I know Mrs. Dick retired the year we retired. We retired. <laughs> we retired. We from retired high from high school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking across the stage to retire right now. That's. I mean, we technically did. Kind of did. But never going oh, back. Well, yeah. So, okay, um, to finish off this podcast <laughs> after this very deep conversation that we had, which yeah. has been I, this incredible. Has been, this has been a great yeah. one. Um, James, will you grow out a mustache with me? 
Are you saying that because I need to shave? No, no I'm, I'm being kidding. dead serious. Cause I, I don't know. I look, I look disgusting. I can't grow one either. Okay. Like mine looks. I was, it's funny you bring that up. I was just gonna shave after this. Like, really? With the razor. I shaved today. I shaved my neck beard today. I yeah, left. I was gonna say your your lip hair is looking pretty bald. Is it? Yeah. Well, this is like. So we should start. Two and a half weeks of not serious? shaving it. Like I've shaved my like neck beard. Okay. Like twice. Yeah. And this, I didn't shave the mustache. I can't. Wow. It takes me like, I just grew it out. <laughs> we put air quotes about grew it out. <laughs> like, I grew it out like. For like a month and a half. Yeah. Or maybe like a month. Yeah. And it, like, if you walk up to me, you you can't tell I have a mustache. It took me that wow. like, in, in I did certain a month lightings, and I, I after looked, a while in like certain yeah. lighting, yeah. I'm like, oh shit, I got a little bit of a stash going. Yeah. And, but Cindy hates it. Really? Like, That's what Emily despises hates. Despises it. Well, she doesn't hate it, but she's like, I'd like you better. <laughs> I'd like you better. I'd like you more. <laughs> yeah. No, but, um. This is – I'm showing you the picture I took for our track. <laughs> this is me after growing it out. That's tight, dude. No. That's like a little porno stash, Jane. That's, That's rad. Very pencil-y. You like John Waters. Who's that? You know who that is? No. Oh, I don't know. I <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know either. I really don't know either. The okay. only thing I know him from is the – he had this like pencil – Super pencil mustache. Yeah. Like, well, you know, like a pencil mustache is like where they can grow a mustache, but mm-hmm. they they shave like the top, top of it. Of it. And yeah. it's a very thin line. Like you yeah. drew a pencil of your top lip. He had like yeah. one, he has like one of those. Oh, okay. Like, so he's like kind of like famous for. Oh, okay. And like the only thing I know him Wouldn't from. Wouldn't that be something to be famous for? <laughs> I'm famous for my pencil so mustache. So people like walk, that dude's getting ready to walk across a volcano. The guy that walked, <laughs> he tight roped. Wait, are you being serious? Yeah, the oh, guy that tight roped across the Grand Canyon with yeah. no thing underneath. Now yeah. he's walking across a volcano that's Golly. seven football fields long. Seven? Seven. That's 700 yards. Technically, it'd be I can't seven. walk that long see, on the ground. You'd be like, why? Why can't you? <laughs> 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 I didn't, I'm not going to lie. I tried to do that math in my head, so I didn't hear what you said, so I just said, Why? <laughs> I said I can't, I, I can't walk that long, like that far on the ground, <laughs> just because I was making a joke that it's super far, like that's a long walk, why? like that's a long walk on a just tight, like a kid, tight rope. Just this dude across, you're going, why? <laughs> <laughs> why can't you walk that far? Why, why Sorry. can't you? <laughs> if I can look at this freaking elk, get its half, half its <laughs> rear taken off, you can walk across seven football fields. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Yeah. Yes, you will grow a mustache out with me. Yeah, I'll shave it tonight, and then we'll start fresh. Okay. Um. Me, my two and a half weeks in is pretty much the same as starting fresh, so I'm just gonna keep this shit. My goal was to. I wanted to have a beard by 21 of like. <laughs> yeah. Like May, like I last, have a beard year. last year. Last year, I. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, look where I'm at. I'm yeah. just now starting to get like chin. Yeah. Chin yeah. hairs. Like I can find. I'll get occasional long neck hair. I. Oof. I get a crazy – like, it started out, like, in high school. Like, senior year, I got this little tiny little circle patch under, like, on my, some, under my chin. What's the things that aliens do in crops? The uh, – where they draw the designs? And oh, the, um, it has the has crop in the name, right? I think so. I, I almost <laughs> just said crop design. <laughs> crop design. I got to look it up. But oh, I, oh, I know it. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. But it's just, like, just slowly – alien – slowly grown under like my chin and up to my sideburns that's it and then i get a little tiny bit of a mustache but anything else it's like none on my cheeks none on my like under my bottom lip nothing crop circles crop circles. i typed my google search is alien field art <laughs> <laughs> alien field picasso crop circles you had a crop, crop circle, circle on your neck yeah slow and the crop circle like it just like changes every day of like what what part of uh, hair wants to grow next? And it's just different designs every day. It's just kind of like a roll of the dice. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, and then my goal is to get by May, by the graduation. I was like, okay, I didn't get it by 21. Maybe I'll get it by 22. And at this rate, it's like maybe by 26. Yeah. Maybe yeah. by like 2030, I can have a beard. Maybe by, yeah. That's kind of maybe what I'm 30. Me. Maybe by 2030, I can have like a semi all right mustache. Yeah. Which I think if you, it depends who you ask, is like. <laughs> no mustache. Beauty is in the right. eye of the beholder. Right. You know what I mean? So. I, the only reason I want a mustache is because I can't grow one. I think just having a mustache is really cool. <laughs> Cindy said I look like a pedophile. She said any mustache. That's how like, I feel I look like with a mustache. Yeah. So. I mean, me too, but like, I think it's sick. <laughs> Hashtag young men. 
<laughs> yeah. Hashtag young men, young men on the mustache gang. But like, I'm growing it, and then okay. my little brother Ethan. Oh, is he growing it? He's growing he's it. Grow- out. He can grow one better than me. Really? Yeah. Dang, Matthew, my younger, you know. Yeah. You know Matthew, right? Yeah. My younger brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like 12. Yeah. And he's already, I can see by the sides of, like, the ends of his mouth. <laughs> I yeah. can see some hair coming in. And I was like, like the Fu Manchu. Yeah. Like, oh. I was like, you're getting a little mustache. He goes, yeah. I'm like, all right, dude, he's going to have more hair than me. Yeah, I know. He's going to have a full beard next year. Probably. And then we'll have our tiny little mustaches. I'll still pile drive him through the table, though. <laughs> he was, he's going to be taller than me. That, that's kind of going to make yeah. me mad. Give him the people's elbow. Stone cold stun him. Short. <laughs> I'll shorten him. Table, yeah. <laughs> Compre- I'll compress his spine. <laughs> yeah, compress him in a little bit. That's what Hulk Hogan, or I think it was Hulk Hogan. Someone said they got shorter because of all that leg many, drops. Yeah, that it actually times? shortened their spine or Just compressed it and whatnot. Smash it in. That's crazy. Yeah, Hulk the, Hogan's crazy for many other reasons, but Hulk Hogan. Uh, I'm just, I love that man and everything that he's done. <laughs> That's a gem. He's an American. Like we're lucky to be alive the same time Hulk Hogan was oh, alive. Oh yeah, tie it all back into infinity. <laughs> okay, but. so we're gonna tie that all back into infinity. <laughs> yeah. On that note, uh, Hulk Hogan, we love you. We love you, brother. Hashtag Young Men. This has been a very good podcast. Episode two. Episode two. Episode two of many. Um, if you're still here, which I hope you are, um, be on the lookout for that new thumbnail that's happening on the, you'll see it you'll on see this it. video if you I, have eyes you'll see it yeah if you have eyes and a they working work. brain yeah you'll see that uh, all right we got still humping yeah. uh the pillow an hour and a half in we got to take care of the stanley situation yeah so. we gotta get him uh to sleep so <laughs> we gotta put him to bed we gotta put him to bed <laughs> we gotta tuck him in <laughs> all right james yep oh, oh that sucked we gotta do it again Get a there good one. Is. Yeah, there we are. All, All right. right. Signing out. Bye.